Welcome, my lords, to Isengard. Now, as much as I might wish this was Isengard, and I was sitting on the field of victory, enjoying a few well-earned spoils. Salted pork. This is actually camaraderie. It's a film photography channel on YouTube. I know, it's hard to believe. I mean, just look at it. It looks just like Isengard. Today's video is sponsored by this Kmart koozie. Tried to get the endorsement from the full company, but apparently they don't have the budget for that. I'm taking a break today from posting the general schlock that I normally post on this channel, you know, camera reviews, photo walks, stuff like that, in order to just talk about basic film camera operation. If you've seen any of the camera reviews that I've done before, you know that I like to go into detail about each individual knob and all the different settings and how to adjust everything on the camera and what the film chamber looks like, just whatever I happen to be reviewing that day. But I've grown to hate those sections of my videos. From the shooting of them, to the editing, to especially watching them, they just drag to me. So in an effort to save us both some time in future videos, I figured it would be a good idea just to kind of give a rundown of what is common across pretty much every camera out there. My hope is that by the end of this video, you have a solid enough understanding to be able to confidently walk up to like 95% of the cameras out there, pick it up and start shooting. This will also allow me to be more efficient in the future and thus give me more time to focus on doing what I enjoy, like reading Twilight fanfiction. Now obviously if there is something about whatever camera that I happen to review in the future that's really unique and different, um, if it's laid out differently or if you load the film in a different way, then I'll address that. But for the most part, I'm just gonna be breezing through kind of the operational side of things. There are, I would say, three main body types of camera. You have your point and shoots, your automatic everythings. You have your range finders and you have your SLRs. For point and shoots, you'll usually have a lens cover of sorts, sometimes one or two different lenses to switch between. Got your sensors right there for focusing and whatnot. Got your shutter release button, your film counter, self timer, rewind button, uh, just in case you want to rewind in the middle of a roll for some reason. Otherwise, it'll do it automatically. Got your battery cover right here, usually on the bottom, sometimes it's on the side. I think this takes a CRP2 battery. Other models might take double A's or triple A's. Usually on the side, there will be a little switch or toggle to open the film back. On the inside, you've got your pressure plate and just kind of sandwiches your film to keep it nice and flat. To load the film, you just put your cassette in there, pull the film leader across and close it up and it'll automatically wind the film for you and you'll be ready to shoot. Inside the viewfinder, you'll see those lines. Those are parallax lines to give you an idea of what you're pointing at. Next up, you've got range finders, which are a little bit more complex than point and shoots. Some of them you can't interchange the lenses, but some of them you can. This particular model can't change the lens, but you'll have your uh, focusing and your ISO and your shutter speed all on the lens itself. On the bottom, you've got your rewind button, tripod socket, and battery cover. A lot of rangefinder and SLRs will use uh, what are called coin batteries. They're just little, tiny, small batteries that kind of look like coins, and you can use a coin to open the cover. Up on top, you've got a film advance lever, shutter button, and your rewind crank. The rewind crank is also what allows you to open the back of the camera. And from there, pretty standard stuff, film chamber, take up spool, and pressure plate. To load the film is pretty straightforward. Just put the film cassette in the film chamber, lock it down with the rewind crank, pull the film leader over to the take up spool, insert it, and advance the film. And as long as it's catching on the teeth, you are good to go. Inside, similar story, 
You've got your parallax lines and generally you'll have uh, an exposure indicator of some sort on the right. Onto the SLR body type. These generally use interchangeable lens systems. It'll control your aperture and your focus on the lens itself. And to swap out your lenses, you just push down either a button or a lever and turn. And just reverse the process to put your lens back on. On the bottom, you'll have your battery cover, tripod socket, and rewind button. To adjust your ISO, pull up on this ring and turn it. This is the shutter speed dial as well, and it has a nice little indicator right there for you. Let you know what your shutter speed is. And of course, your film rewind crank is also going to be your film door opener on this model as well. Got your film chamber, your take-up spool, and your pressure plate. That's stuff you'll see in every single camera, just about. If they're quality, at least. Same story with loading the film as it was in the rangefinder. Pop it in the chamber, drag your leader over to the take-up spool, give it a couple cranks, and close the door and you're good to go. This particular model uses a matchstick needle meter. Ideally, you want to get it right in between the plus and the minus to get a proper exposure. You'll notice you don't have any parallax lines in this because you are looking actually through the lens rather than off to the side through a different viewfinder. All right, folks, that's it, man. That's, that's how you operate 95% of the cameras in the world, film cameras. Now, obviously there are variations on just about all of this, but this, from what I found, is like the basics of everything. It's pretty basic stuff, but it needs to be talked about, but I'm just tired of talking about it all the time. So I'm putting it all in one place. Um, let me know in the comments um, what your favorite breakfast food is. And otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see, I'll see this screen right here that I see myself in, and then you'll see me through this lens um, good talk.